Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I crave indulgence to please subscribe to this channel, kindly hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world. Thank you guys, I appreciate your support. There has been many presumptions about what could be Imo's financial contribution to the APC governorship campaign in Edo following the prominently infamous role played by Senator Hope Uzadema, whom many believe governs Imo by default and drives her to near ruin in just eight months. But this politically incorrect offering of mine won't be about the monetary losses. Obviously, incurred by my dear state because of its healthman ambition to increase his stakes in the Bodilon Club of Electoral Traders. Yes, Imo lost money, and I can say that many more times on the pain of the illegal and smuggled in decrease. 484 and 485. What I can't say for a certainty is the actual figure that Imo lost on this thoughtless investment. Some people have said it is 3 billion naira, while there are commentators who believe it is higher than that. Some packed the investment by the governor with Imo's money at well over 5 billion naira. Now, we can break it a little down to some specifics. Chief Uzadema was in Edo at least 10 times from the primaries till the election proper. On each of those occasions, he went with a routine of security details, political aids, and some people believe talks and machineries. With whom he allegedly planned to rig the elections. We can conservatively peg the amount for each of these trips at 10 million naira. That's about 100 million naira for the logistics and transportation. Some people believe that the governor was the highest financial donor among progressive governors to the Ize Iyamu election campaign. Let's say he donated 1 billion naira directly to the campaign. It could be a lot more and it could be also less. Cumulatively, the governor with some of his top aides were out of Imo state on Edo electoral Edo gubernatorial campaign for at least 30 days. That's a whole lot for a governor whom we pay salaries and who draws security votes from our coffers. For these days, he was away from his duty post. His salaries, security votes, and those of his aides and security details will total about 1 billion naira. So, Imo actually paid the governor and his aides approximately 1 billion naira for working for a governorship candidate. If we had a system where public servants are held to account, we should be asking the governor to refund his security vote, which is about 500 million naira monthly. His salaries and the salaries of those of every of his aides that went with him to Edo or to anywhere else to work for Pastor Ize Iyamo. But our system doesn't care. We haven't talked about the monies he alleged or he is alleged to have given to the Igbo community in Edo State to urge them to support his candidates. We do not know if it is true that some electoral officials were bribed in a bid to manipulate the election result in favor of his candidates. We haven't placed a figure to the fees that might have been paid to some machineries 
who were caught on camera confessing that they were hired from Imo State. We haven't placed a figure to the patrol vehicles acquired with Imo money and donated to security agencies for the security and safety of Imolites, but which we are seeing in Iyamo before the election proper. So obviously, Imo lost a lot of money, but that's not the only thing Imo lost. Every Imolite was sold off to the world by the governor. They were sold off as being governed by a man of questionable character. The governor became a byword for electoral fraud and everything undemocratic. Throughout the campaigns in Edo, videos are viral on the internet where Edo people described the governor, Hopus Odemba, in unpalatable but unavoidable words. For every of such words used to describe the governor, every Imolite is insulted. So it won't be very much out of place to say that the governor brought shame to the state. He ridiculed Imo State. He defamed the character. And if we are to sue him for defamation of character, every Imolite would at least be entitled to 10 million naira, which he has to pay from his pocket, and this runs into trillions of Naira. According to FCC Jones, I heard the, that Edo, especially the youths, were on the lookout for him during the election. He said, Richard, my friend, told me that had the governor been seen anywhere in the open during the election or after the election, he would have been stoned, and he, and he told me that there was no amount of security personnel that would have saved him from being disgraced. In Richard's own words, your governor was a marked man. From Thursday when we got wind of his presence in Edo, the citizens were on alert because he doesn't have a good name. We were determined to teach him that he could walk away with election rigging in Imo State, but not here in Edo. Well, I thank God that they didn't see him and I am happy that my governor understood the temperament of the people and respected himself. He confined himself to Iyamu and when the results started trickling in, he sneaked out of a door through the back door. He couldn't even blare his sirens for fear of being lynched. It becomes more painful when one compares Uzodima's presence in Edo to that of other governors, especially Nyesomwiki of River State. The average Edo man was happy that Wiki was in town and they could keep him there for as long as he wants. But they can't bear the mere sight of Governor Hope Uzodima because it does not because his name does not ring good in their ears. Edo people saw Wiki as a friend, but saw Governor Hope Uzadema as an enemy and a traitor who came to annex their state. Beyond the, pers the personal opprobrium to his personality, Chief Uzadema also made every Imolite look like a weakling. Edo people might feel superior to us because they succeeded where we couldn't. They resisted manipulation, they resisted imposition, and they resisted intimidation. While it may not be true, Edo people show that they are politically aware and democratically literate for standing up to defend their inalienable rights to choose their leader by themselves. I do not think there will be a magical 388 polling, polling boots result that even the man who tendered it couldn't read properly, and that contained only re the results of two candidates, while there were 70 candidates. I do not think Edo people will fold their hands and move on if any court declares Ize Iyamo governor with results he wrote for himself. 
Isn't it more like a student grading himself in an exam and overriding the verdict of the examiner? Edo people won't take that. The outcome of the Edo election is a sharp reminder to us as Imo people of our misfortune. It calls back that sad day that a certain Gulag came to Imo and walked away with fraud. It calls back the memory of 388 magic polling boots resort that were never there or that never never were. It calls back the reality that we are governed by a man whom it appears even with the magic 388 polling boots resort is not qualified to be a governor by the very spirit and letters of our own constitution. Did he meet the constitutional spread to be governor? Was he duly nominated? Was he even a member of any political party? In its true sense, and if we must go by the constitution of our party, he confessed that he came through by cutting corners. Yet, we have him as governor. Obaseki's victory shows that such a thing wouldn't have been allowed in Edo, but we have learned this lesson and we hope to gain the gain from this loss. All right, guys, what are your thoughts? This is the thoughts of uh, Omwa Swanya, Omwa Swanya, FCC Jones, a political analyst and a commentator. So, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this news story? Do you agree with FCC Jones on this particular write up? Well, drop it in the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.